Hey guys, here's the completion video here of the retainer wall we just worked on. Had a retainer wall behind the existing boardwalk so we could elevate the uh, land to match the existing boardwalk. We're on a project now, we're setting some boathouse pilings, some uh, dock pilings. We're gonna put in a 16,000 pound lift here for this Grady White, get it lifted. As soon as we get this completed, I'll get it posted. If you guys would, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. If you got any comments or questions, please leave them. Like and share, thank you. Okay, we've got our manta ray system set up here. We're getting ready to start jackhammering the earth anchors down into the ground. And this gets a little bit loud. We're gonna go 12 foot, actually total 18 foot back behind the wall. Go ahead, Ashton. drive it down another five to six foot and then we'll take the end of the threaded rod which is going down right here and we'll couple it to the other rod the existing rod starting coming through the wall right there i didn't get a video of load locking these manta ray earth anchors but what we do is from the outside of the wall we connect onto the threaded rod that's being installed to the manta ray earth anchor and we pull that back out with about seven to eight thousand pounds of pressure on it that opens the manta ray earth anchor up and gives it a real good holding force into the ground to prevent the wall from moving. Back over here in Gulf Breeze working on this uh, retainer wall. We've got the retainer wall done and now we're installing some mooring poles on the front side of the retainer wall. The poles used to stick up in front of the actual seawall and boats were tying off to it and that was putting a lot of stress with these bigger boats on the seawalls. I decided to set separate mooring poles to support the boats that are moored on front of it. These are 35 foot long 8 inch pilings. We're setting them 18 foot in the ground. We're running a two inch, 20 foot jet pipe right now off a four inch pump. Thing's a little heavy. We get the hole started with that, then we get the vibratory plate on top of them, drive it down. Also installed piling wrap on these poles too, in the air, active area that's gonna be in the water to prevent the uh, Trito bore worms from attacking these poles. Here's a look before we installed the retainer wall behind the boardwalk and added the tieback systems and additional fill with sod. Got this project completed, brought in a bunch of dirt, got it back filled up to the um, boardwalk and the retainer wall we installed here and got some uh, St. Augustine sod laid on top of it, looking real good. Got all the mooring poles set now. We set 11 of them. I like to use these mooring poles instead of tying to the seawall because I've noticed with the bigger boats and the wind it has a tendency to kind of edge it over or pull it over just a little bit. So we like to set the mooring piling separate of the seawall. Also left them up seven to eight foot above the uh, seawall so that the boat can ride them down against the piling during the storm. 